Hello Fib users, this is Kevin and what I have here is an FEI gas injector and um, what I'm going to do today is demonstrate how to disassemble and refill the FEI gas injector. Bear in mind that um, we're just doing this in a lab environment right now and if I really had chemical in this I'd be doing this, this demonstration in a fume hood. And when you do this yourself, this should be done in a fume hood to avoid any, any possible exposure to chemical vapor. Again, this one has been decontaminated and there's no risk of chemical exposure here. And uh, so again, I recommend that you do this procedure in a, in a fume hood to prevent any exposure to chemicals. We're going to turn this little thumb screw on the end. And to do that, we have to take a 332nd ball driver and we have to loosen a set screw in the end and we just poke it in the little hole in the end turn it counterclockwise and that loosens the set screw once the set screw is loose we can tighten the little thumb screw turn it clockwise and we'll, we can turn that until we feel the force increase and then we know we've turned it far enough now on this end we can remove the needle okay that's easy enough now we can remove the little flow control aperture on the end, turning that counterclockwise. And we don't want to lose the little washer that holds it there. Okay. And now all we need to do is remove these four little 256 socket head cap screws. And the easiest way to do this is to place the GIS in a stand so you can have your hands free. It holds it vertically. Let's zoom in on that so you can get a little more use of it. There we go. And uh, you can see how it's held in the stand. So we're going to remove the four little screws. You can see there are four little screws. And I use my three six or five sixty-fourth ball driver to remove these screws and uh, be careful not to let these fall on the floor they're hard to find so we remove the four screws and when we have all four screws removed the crucible will easily remove itself from the GIS. Sometimes it requires a little bit of force to get it to pop off but uh, anyway this one's coming off nice and easy. You can see the plunger rod on the end of the gas injector and you can see the crucible and let's uh, kind of zoom in to that crucible. You can see the crucible here the crucible is uh, composed of several little holes. In the center hole where the plunger fitted, the, that is the passage for the gas to escape the crucible. And you can see there's a little hole in the bottom and that leads to the needle. And right around that little hole there's an O-ring seal and that O-ring seal seals against the end of the plunger. And that's what forms the valve. So by turning that thumb screw, we open the valve manually. The chemical, the chemical occupies the space of these six perimeter bores in the interior of the crucible. And it's in these bores that we want to place our, our chemical. And uh, as you can see, you have to be careful not to contaminate this O-ring. And you do not want to get chemical in the center bore. So it's very uh, important to be careful that you place chemical only in these perimeter bores. One thing you can do is you can place a little cork or a little, this is a quarter inch hole, you can place a quarter inch rod in the center and that'll keep material from falling in there. So that's the basic assembly of the crucible. Now uh, if you go ahead and refill it we can reassemble and uh, I'll just place the crucible back on the uh, on the uh, plunger 
Okay, so we just installed screws loose at first. Once all four are installed, then we'll tighten them. Then we'll just start by installing them very loose. That will ensure that the crucible is aligned nicely with the plunger rod. Okay, so now they're loose, now I can begin tightening. And these don't have to be very tight. These are very small screws and it's not worth risking stripping them out. So they just need to be just barely snug, just enough to compress the o-ring completely. Okay, so now the four 256 screws are tight. And now we can go back to our thumb screw here and we can turn it counterclockwise. Turn it counterclockwise until we feel the valve seat when the when the pressure kind of releases on the turning of the screw. And now we can tighten up the set screw in the middle. And now the valve position is set. We can replace the flow control aperture. And we can replace the needle. Turning it counterclockwise, or pardon me, clockwise. And uh, here is our refilled and completed gas injector ready for installation on our FIB. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send them my way. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.